Hello and welcome to another video from Natasha Lee. Now I know that I've been AWOL and it's been a little bit crazy this last month and I've been poorly and I've had problems with the kids but all of that has been sort of magnified by something else which is what I want to tell you about today. And although it's kind of had a sort of negative impact until this point, it's a really positive, exciting, thrilling thing that I can't wait to share. So when I started out in the industry, I spent loads of time Googling, literally best cuticle remover, best cuticle hoof, best cuticle nippers, best nail polish, best base coat, best top coat, you name it. I just spent my time searching for the best. And I kept coming across blog posts and videos and articles, you know, saying what the best of everything was. And when I tried them out, then sometimes, yeah, they were amazing. But sometimes I found out that the people that wrote the posts or did the videos or things like that weren't actually being authentic about their relationships with the brands and things like that. And that's where it's something that I know YouTubers get this huge, don't trust YouTubers because they're all sponsored and they're all paid. Maybe there are a few out there, but I certainly have only ever done two sponsored videos and they were with mobile phone apps. Other than that, I have turned down an awful lot because I didn't actually like the products that they wanted to pay me to promote. And so I will never be wealthy because I'm not willing to take the sponsorship, but I keep my my integrity and I feel sound in my own mind. So what this brings me to basically is the fact that I always had this sort of vision and dream and people kept going on at me about it. Why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you doing that? Why aren't you doing this? Something sort of started happening last year and I started deciding to work on something. And then at the beginning of this year, I started working on it a bit more. And then I have spent months and months and months and months doing this and it's ready I'm, I'm ready to tell you what i've been doing and what i've spent all these months doing is divine by natasha lee which is my own brand and it's not just like any brand it's based entirely on me finding my favorite files and thinking how oh, these would be so much better if they just did this. This cuticle tool would be that much better if they just did that. These glitters would be that much better if they just did this. So I decided to take all of those opinions and all those thoughts and throw myself into my own brand. And I am bringing you my heart, my soul and my sanity in Divine by Natasha Lee. Now I'm really excited about this because I have designed this as an award-winning nail technician. I've designed these as professional quality but available to consumers as well. So even if you're starting out, I wanted to make these affordable but the absolute best quality that you would expect even if you were a qualified nail tech. For my cuticle tools, they are all surgical grade tempered steel and you guys know from my older videos where I talk about doing cuticles that I always like the Mihaz cuticle hoof but then I used a precision pushy as well and it just was a pain in the bum. So I have created my own and here it is in its glory. And because I like to take my nail stuff in my handbag sometimes to do my friend's nails, I decided that because I was fed up of things getting damaged, especially when you've got these cuticle hooves and things like that, you don't want them to get dropped and damaged. I've created little PU leather wallets. So PU basically is fake leather. I don't want to use real leather. I've tried to avoid using animal products wherever possible. As far as I'm aware, I have done. But it's not just this lovely little cuticle tool that comes with its own little wallet. I've also got cuticle nips and cuticle scissors so you can safely package them away if you wanted to put them in a bag or if you are a technician, a mobile technician, you can put them in your text bag. You don't have to worry about things getting jabbed or things getting blunted. If you just want to keep them looking pretty on your desk, then you can. You could even bling them up if you really wanted to. That's actually a really good idea. I've also got two sets of tweezers. So we've got slanted tweezers and needlepoint tweezers. And that's because I've found that sometimes using certain decals or things like that, or applying stuff to the nail, I might need a needlepoint one. Then sometimes I'd prefer to have a slanted and things like that. So I've tried to cover all bases here to start you off with an absolute basic nail kit that will take you through the most advanced nail art. 
but are also really super easy to use. I have spent so long as well developing four nail files for you and I've got two that are designed for natural nails and two that are designed for enhancements. And the first of the four nail files is the Topaz and this is a 240, 240 grit wood core file. Now when I talk about using a professional quality 240 grit nail file to file the ends of your nails and you can go back and forth with them because if it's a really high good quality fine grit then it won't delaminate and separate those nail plate layers this is what I've created for you guys but I've done it in white instead of the stereotypical black or different colors because they can just produce a dust that leaves the remnants on the polish and around the side of the nails so I've gone completely white with these these are great for filing the ends of your nails and when you're doing enhancements for really tucking in down those side walls to get that beautiful parallel line of a shape down the edge of the nails love them so much then I've got my quartz file and that's a 240 1200 file and the 240 again is for using the ends of your nails or because it's a padded file you can use it on the finishing and enhancement or over gel polish you know if you've like used a builder in a bottle or a strengthening gel or even just gel polish and you need to buff the surface lightly without affecting your nail to be able to remove it or smooth it off that's what this one's for really because that padding takes the cushion and prevents flat spots or over filing. The 1200 grit side is brilliant for actually getting a more high shine finish or for when you've got like peeling on the ends of your nails and your natural nails you can remove that delamination like I did on my husband Rick in the male money video I think it was. Then I've got my diamond file which is a 100 180 grit file and that's perfect for using on acrylic nails or on gel nails and this file I mean, I, I've designed it, I've spent ages in research and development, but when this arrived, it, it blew me away that a file could be so different to other files. I absolutely love this file. You have to try it to actually realize what it's like. And then finally, I've got my amber buffing block, which is for removing flat spots, but this buffing block is a 240 grit buffing block. So it's really, really lovely and prevents those deep scrapes when you're trying to get that beautiful finish on your nails. I have also got, and this is very limited edition. And the reason that these are limited edition is because I have put my YouTube logo on them because I won't be repeating these again but I wanted to have a bit of my YouTube channel in my new brand. So these are my Natasha Lee tools and I have a range of six different brushes. Now this is like the equivalent of a capsule wardrobe to me. I've gone for your absolute essentials that you can produce every look that you really want to with. We've got our detailer brush. We've got our liner brush. We've got the cleanup brush, which I love. I've deliberately created this one really fine, really small, a lot smaller than all the other brands that I've tried out there. Even my favorite ones previously, I went really small so you can really tuck in right around that cuticle line and get it so neat. I've got my glitter brush, which you could use for a pigment brush, but I do prefer to have a separate glitter and a pigment brush. So this is my slightly larger glitter brush. And when you start to use these, the more you use them, the more fluffy they go at the end. So they look a mess but that's what I like because then you pick up the glitter even easier and these are so beautiful to use. Then I've got my fan brush which you know I always use for cleaning off the glitter. It's brilliant for cleaning out your triangle tray for your glitters which I also have on my site if you're wanting to use those too. They are brilliant for avoiding too much mess and for saving the glitter to put back in your pot because we don't want wastage. They're also perfect for like caviar beads and crystals to pop them in so they don't go flying all over your desk and stuff like that. And then my sixth brush is also a glitter or pigment brush. Now I prefer to keep this as pigment because it's slightly smaller deliberately and that means if you're wanting to produce like a, a pigment effect where you just do like angles and lines on the nails this is much finer and I do recommend ideally having a separate glitter and pigment brush because the glitter brushes go fluffy over time and the pigment brush you want to ideally try and keep as flat and sort of smooth as you possibly can to get that really lovely pigment effect. Then I have my set of three dotting tools and set of three silicon tools which you guys know what these are used for. Dotting tools are kind of self-explanatory but the silicon tools are brilliant. You can use them for creating like 3D acrylic work, for tidying up smile lines, for creating art designs. But the thing I tend to use them the most for is for chroming and for applying like unicorn powders and chrome powders and stuff like that. And then you know how much I love my bling. So I had to bring out a gem picker as well. And I love this. It's got a beautiful wax end on it. So it's really easy to pick up those crystals and then a metal placing end at the other side to really maneuver them into place. Now for the bling. Bling! 
this really was a project of passion and I say that because you know I love my glitter and I love my glitter brands but there's always been things I've thought this would be slightly better if it were like this and why don't we have this color and why don't we have that and instead of spending ages looking around for it I decided to just it instead because that made sense to me but something I really wanted to do that I was thinking about my years of experience of storing and carrying stuff is that I wanted glitters that were nice and stable when you have them on your table ha huh, I'm a poet and I didn't know it but also and this is something I know it sounds really silly but I'm so proud of this because when it came to me I was like oh my god why has no one thought of that or if someone has thought of it I haven't noticed it but what I've done is I've created clear windows with my little divine logo and these clear windows are so that if you've got them popped up on a shelf like you know I store mine then that's great you can see the color on the side but if you haven't got the space to do that and you store them in a drawer or you're a mobile tech and you've got them in the bottom of a beauty box you're there trying to look when you've got a, like a solid lid you're having to pick them out and go is it that one is it that one or you mark the top of the lid or you have to swatch them you don't have to now you can see straight through the top straight through and you get to recognize them and it just looks so pretty it gives you an even better idea of what they look like I have got a range of 35 glitters but of the 35 glitters everyone is named sort of with something that means something to me and there's a number of dedications on the glitters as well not everyone is dedicated but certain ones are but because this is such a personal brand to me and it's not been about making money I mean that's important let's be honest when you've got bills to pay making money is important it literally has been a project of passion it's something that been so nice to get so excited about something and researching and, and working and the development and I've just absolutely loved it so every one of my glitters is named after something natural or naturally occurring and you might notice in the divine logo itself there is a love heart and there's a little flower now because this is so personal to me the love heart is the fact that I do feel very strongly and very passionately about making a difference in a positive way to our environment and that every little bit helps and I think we all need to start learning now there's loads I could do to improve but I'm bringing my kids up learning the importance of trying to reduce their wastage and then the importance of recycling and being more mindful in their purchases so with that in mind all my shipping materials are recyclable and where I have I've been able to buy recycled products as well to use for the packaging this is where I said it's a project of passion so in the divine logo the heart represents my sort of passion for the industry and what I do and how much I do absolutely really love this and I get so excited and I enjoy it and I'll be honest YouTube's been a hard place recently and I'd felt my passion waning but I was also tired because I've been working so hard on this and I'd had the kids off on school and now I'm really fired up again and I can't wait I've got so many ideas I've been holding off doing with you guys that I wanted to show you and then the flower in my divine logo is actually representative of the fact about nature and our environment and that's why every single one of my glitters and my files are all named after something that is nature or natural based there's also five petals on the flower and that represents me Rick and our three boys because this is a very personal thing to me and then finally with the logo just because I'm going to share these easter eggs with you just because I'm a geek basically and I got dead excited when I did these the color of the logo was one of the official colors of British Rail and I don't know if you guys know but I used to be a train driver and my husband and I met when we were both in the railway so for me because this has been such a big project of passion I've tried to give little nods to not just people that have made a difference through my life and and helped sort of me shape who I am today but also experiences and things that mean something to me so that is like a real easter egg and the final one is that I don't know if you guys know you may see if you've watched any of my original videos way way back which I should really say do it but I'm thinking no don't because I really do sound awful I I hadn't learned to relax as much in front of the camera then I'm not naturally a very comfortable person in front of the camera and it was really evident in my early videos but my salon used to be called divine by design and I sold the salon to focus on YouTube full-time early in 2016 because it worked better for me with the family and with YouTube so I hope you guys understand where I've been why I've been a little bit like this last month it's been a bit crazy I've been really poorly and I think as I got myself so run down trying to get this finished for you guys because I was very conscious of the fact that I wanted these products ready to launch and I keep looking because all my glitters are in a row and they just make me feel really happy 
I was really conscious that I needed to launch ASAP because I'm doing a pre-order for you guys whereby if you head on over to the website divinebynatashalee.com you can have a look, have a nosy, I can promise you you'll be surprised at the prices because I really have deliberately, I've done this in a way that if I wanted to make some significant money I would charge a lot more but I want to share and I want to inspire so I've priced these really really I think fairly as fairly as I possibly can so that if there's something you want you want to start out you're getting your hands on something that I would choose I've designed I've designed this based on all the different ones that I've tried be it files be it brushes glitters etc tools I've designed these to be my idea of of what I really love so that you guys get to experience it too. Now please do bear in mind that the brushes and the tools, all the crystal field tools are limited edition, very limited edition. The files, the stainless steel manicure tools and the glitters are permanent. They are staying as part of the brand but these brushes with the Natasha Lee logo on are limited edition so if you do want to get your hands on the probably the only YouTube branded products that I'm planning on doing then you need to head on over to divinebynatashalee.com. All products will be dispatched on or before the 22nd of November so that you guys have them well and truly before Christmas, not just before Christmas, but I'm aiming for in November at least, so that you can actually, if you're a professional nail tech, you've got clients that are gonna be using these for Christmas because I'm telling you, you're going to need granite glitter, which is like the most amazing black hollow. And you're also gonna really want Northern Lights, which is a stunning, multi-chrome colour shifting hollow which is fantastic I love it so much and also actually siren oh, siren is oh siren is basically the glitter equivalent of the Aruba blue nails that I did you know those blue nails with the crystals underneath that were they really were like one of my all-time favorites and a lot of people say that's how they found my channel that and fidget spinners but that blue I've been able to do in a glitter and it is stunning absolutely stunning. If you want to follow Divine by Natasha Lee on social media I've made this as easy as I possibly can. You've got Twitter, Instagram and Facebook are all at Divine by NL and that should be really easy for you to be able to find. I'll put it up on the screen as well so you can see and there's also a Facebook page and there's a Facebook group for you guys. If you're passionate and want to share the nail art that you've done using your Divine by Natasha Lee products or you want to share what your favourites are then head on over to there and I will be managing that myself. So let me know what you guys think and nail art videos are coming back I can promise you because I've been so desperate but my head's been a little bit poo and I'm just really grateful to you guys for your support for your patience because I know you understand my home situation and how my gorgeous boys can go through some difficult times because of their disabilities and things like that and I'm just really really grateful to you guys because I'm getting to live my dream because of the support of you guys and I'm getting to share and inspire and I, I you can see I'm getting I'm getting excited the hands are going and I'm getting excited so it's just going to be like verbal diarrhea now so I just better round this up please let me know what you think about the brand down below go and have a look at my website and then comment below and let me know what your favorite products are your favorite glitters I will be adding videos very very soon to my shop website as well so you can see these glitters in action like applied differently and things like that as well as some of the other products but I actually feel really I'm, I'm quite I'm quite stoked because I've had quite a bit of caffeine I've also been really nervous really nervous about this I don't know I don't know why, I think it's because I've put so much of my heart and soul into it and I've really tried to do something that isn't just what I want, I think it's what other people would want and other people would benefit from and other people would enjoy and feel inspired by and it's that point where I just feel a little bit scared now that I think, what if I'm wrong? But I really hope I'm not because I'm thinking if I want this stuff and I've always wanted this stuff then other people will too. I can't wait for this to go from strength to strength. I've started with these products at the moment. I have so much more planned in the pipeline too which I'm really excited about. If there's anything that you guys struggle with or you've, there's a product that you've really wanted and you can't find that right works for you 
Let me know because I love the research and development side of it as well and I've really enjoyed trying to perfect things. It's interesting, I love it and I know what it's like to be frustrated wanting a certain product and searching everywhere and it's not on the market and you think why is that not on the market? If there's something you'd love to see please let me know down below. I really hope you enjoy this next stage. I have such a stockpile of video ideas that I've had to just hold off until I'd done this launch for you guys so that you all knew what was going on and then now that all the hard work's been done I can focus on getting some fantastic videos out to you because I'm so excited about that and I'm feeling really fired up. I've almost completely got rid of my Lurgy which made me chuckle how many people commented in the comments that they didn't know what Lurgy was and they had to go on the internet to google it. It's nothing dodgy I promise. So I think that's it. I feel like you know when you've got like loads to tell a mate and you need to just see them and then you sit down and you just go blah, blah, blah. that's how I feel. That's how I feel right now. That and a little bit sick in the tummy with excitement and I really hope you like this guys. I need to say a huge thank you to my VIPs and if you were wanting to skip the waitlist of the pre-order then my VIPs are getting first access to the products almost immediately. So if you wanted to sign up and become a VIP so that you can place your order and get access much quicker then head on over to natashalee.vip where you can sign up and there's also a load of like rewards tiers and behind the scenes access and things like that. I need to say a huge thank you to everyone else that has supported me. I know that I've got a lot an awful lot of friends which I'm really really grateful for who are waiting for this video to come out because they are there with bated breath desperate to share their dedicated glitters and things like that so I need to say a really big thank you to you guys and I know you're all going to be ripping the proverbial out of me after this. I can't wait to see you all next week with a nail art tutorial and from now on if there's a particular glitter you see on my website and you want to see a nail art tutorial with it then drop me a comment down below let me know say I really want to see something with northern lights or with rambling rose or with bora bora i love bora bora never been there want to that's why i named it anyway for about the fourth time now i'm going to say goodbye for now but i will see you all very very soon <laughs>